Hey guys, in today's video I'll be sharing with you 15 Windows 10 tips and tricks that you should be using in 2022. Okay, so the first one is called the error shake. So let's say you have a lot of tabs open and you are using all of them but at the moment you only want to see one. So what you can do is just click on the one you want to use then just shake that and as you can see all the other tabs have disappeared. So you can now work on one. If you want the others back just click on the first, the same one and just shake it again to bring back the other one. Tip number two, right click on your start button. Okay, you find all these useful settings that you would usually search for. So you can easily access all these settings just by right clicking on the start button. Tip number three, if you are feeling lazy to take notes, here is how you can activate dictation in Windows 10. So under any text field, let's say for example search, you can just press Windows H that will activate the dictation. So now as you can see, it's capturing whatever I'm saying on the text bar here. So that's how you activate dictation in Windows 10. Tip number four, here is how to activate emoji menus on Windows 10. So let's say you want to send someone an emoji, you can just press Windows key and full stop like that. So that will, active, will bring out the menu for the emojis. As you can see here, tip number five, instead of you copying everything on a site, for example here, instead of you doing this and the things you don't need, what you can do is you can highlight the first ones, control C, and then go to the other section that you want to copy. Again, control C. Again, let's say you want to copy this section, you can just highlight it and control C again. So we've copied three things. So now if we let's say open up a text document so let me just open up any yeah so now what you need to do to access all of them the way they were in that order you can just click windows then v okay so what that would do it will bring out this clipboard here so now you can choose all the things you are hoping which is the three which is the first one you can click like that again you can use windows v to paste the other section same thing windows v to paste the other section so that's how you would copy and paste multiple sections of a page or text that you have been copying in windows 10 tip number six this is how you can enable dark mode or light mode in windows so right click on your desktop click on personalize then once the settings tab is open click on theme then here this is where now you can change your theme settings so where it says color click on color then it will bring this settings tab so just choose either dark mode so let's say light here as you can see that's light mode so if i change this i click on that then i choose dark mode it will change it to dark mode so that's how you change your window setting from light mode to dark mode or you can choose customize to choose any of these colors here tip number seven this is how you can open any of these pinned applications at the bottom here so this is how you can open them you can just use windows key and then one two three four five six seven eight nine then zero so all these at the bottom here the first ten you can open them by just simply clicking windows key and one to zero on your keyboard to open so one being the first one and two being the second one so if i press on windows 3 as you can see chrome will open since chrome is said on our taskbar here tip number eight this is how you can find your wi-fi password if you forgot what your wi-fi password so under your taskbar here just click on your right click on your wi-fi go to settings so once it opens these settings you want to click on change adapter options click on that so it should bring this menu here just double click on your wi-fi adapter here you should bring this menu here so what you want to go to is wi-fi properties click on that then security then you just want to say show characters so where it says network security key just click on that to show your wi-fi password tip number nine windows calculator so you all know the windows calculator to be the most basic one but let me show you the power of the windows calculator so if we open up the calculator now, okay, you know it to be this boring calculator here, but this calculator can do a lot of things. Usually when you open your calculator, it's under standard. This is the way it looks like. But if you click on the three lines here, you can set it to a scientific calculator. As you can see, you can set it to graph. So meaning you can plot points on the graph to see the way the graph will move. You can do programming calculators. You can do a date calculator. You can do currency calculation. You can also do volume 
length, weight, temperature, energy, area, speed, time, power, data, and pressure, angles. All these you can do on this calculator. So it's not a basic calculator. It's just a matter of you setting it up. Tip number 10. This is basic, but it's something you should be using. Instead of every time clicking on settings and going to whatever settings you, that you want, just click on search and search for the settings that you want. For example, device manager. As you can see, I have device manager just by searching on it. I don't need to go to any settings or control panel. Same thing, any setting that you want. If you want to open control panel, just type in control panel, press enter, you'll find control panel there. This is how you can view notifications and quick settings on your PC. Windows key, if your taskbar is hidden, click on this notifications icon, click on that. You'll see all your previous and all your notifications from here okay from all the apps google whatsapp and all the applications that you're running you see the notifications from here and here you have your quick settings you can easily put the your pc in airplane mode you can go to settings you can do your hotspot from here you can do all these settings just from here tip number three this is a way you can disable startup applications so right click on your taskbar click on task manager then under task manager you see a place where it says startup click on startup so these are the applications that start together with your windows or oh, the more you have startup applications here the slower your pc will boot up so you want to make sure that you minimize things that start up with your windows so if you want to disable the service just click on it and click on disable so that will disable it from starting up and increasing your boot up performance tip number 14 this is how you can quickly launch up your task manager so what you want to press is Control, shift and escape that will quickly launch up your task manager in case your game just crashed or something is using up resources you can just quickly launch task manager just by pressing Control, shift and escape tip number 15 this is how you can increase the size and change the color of your cursor so this can be due to visual impairment or any of your reasons so what you want to do is go to settings then you want to click on devices then you want to click on mouse okay so you are there you can just click adjust mouse size and cursor so while you're here you can increase the size of your cursor just by dragging this bar here okay so i can increase it by that and you can also change the color okay so just by clicking on that or that so now i can change to whatever color i want to if it's purple i can change it to purple yellow i can do that or you can pick a color of your choice just from here so you can set up your own color that you want your cursor to be at so press done and as you can see that's my new color and my new cursor size and bonus tip this is how you can disable windows updates for 30 days so this can be due to a bug that was found in windows and you don't want to you don't want to, your pc to update to that new version of windows which has a bug so you can stop windows updates for at least 30 days so what you want to do is click on your start menu you can search for windows update okay windows update click on that then once it brings this windows update settings just wait for it to load yeah once it brings that you can click on this pause windows updates so as you can see now it has only been reduced to seven days but you can click on that and it will pause all windows updates for seven days so if you found this video useful please consider subscribing to my channel and liking the video and make sure that you comment on the video and don't forget to leave a like again and subscribe